Mm-hmm. Baby boy, what's going on? You know, I didn't had you since what's you. What's going was, on, G? <laughs> <laughs> what's up? I didn't have you since you was you came out of high school, man. We've been knowing each other that long, man. <laughs> we like right. brothers. I let you ride my Hummer, and you wanted to take it and everything. That was <laughs> that was what we did, man. We did that. We did that. We did that. <laughs> Hey, I have my, I Kristen, I have my license, okay? <laughs> I have my license, all right? Verify. We're on television. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, I have never, I've been around you a lot, and, and I, haven't, I haven't seen you this serious in my life about things that is happening right in this world. And I really love that, and I uh, appreciate you from me seeing you young and growing up to where you are now. And when you was on the podium today, for you to say, I want my respect too, that made me think that my guy is now turning to a a bigger person than his basketball. And let me know why you said, let me get my respect too. (laughs) Um, I think think we all can agree that no matter how many accomplishments that you have in your respective your respective craft or whatever the case may be, you're always going to have doubters. You're always going to have people that doubt you or you try to have people to try to make you forget your purpose. And um, I think it drives me. I think it drives me to know that no matter what people say about me, um, both on and off the floor, um, <laughs> from, from athletes to politicians. Um, but at the end of the day, for a man... And for a black man, all you got is your word and your respect. And no matter if people disagree with what you do, no matter if people talk about, okay, they they rather you do this instead of that. Um, if I'm respected, um, nothing else, everything else falls at the, at the waistline. Hey, hey LeBron, 